Hey, boys and girls. So today we're going to be taking a look at counting to 1,000. So the video that we did with counting to 100 is pretty straightforward. Uh, counting to 1,000, though, there's some little mistakes that are very easy to make, and I don't want anybody to make them. So what I have here is I have um, I have put a, a little table here with um, a space for the thousands, for the hundreds, for the tens, and for your units, right? So let's say I have a number like 27. I know that my seven will go on the, unit, on the units, right? And my twos will go on the tens. And that's pretty straightforward and that's great. But the thing about counting to 100, I have here a table with um, zero to 100, right? Uh, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty easy because you're only adding numbers to these two columns, to the tens and to the ones. Because by the time you get to 100, that's your last number. You're not really working with it. But working with this column here, it gets a little trickier. So let's take a look at that. Let's do this. Let's go to um, 101. So start adding here. I'm going to just add one more layer here. I'm going to get a different color. So let's get this 100, move it up here. Okay. So what I see a lot when it gets to writing 101, 102, 103 is this, okay? Because it makes sense, right? You're adding a one right there. But we, what you did here is, is, is you skipped 10 different digits, 10 digits. This is how it works, okay? So you have here, you have 100, right? Zero on the units, zero on the tens, and then one on the 100, that's 100. But 101, you should not add to this one here. You should actually add the one to this one here, to this column here. And you know that there is a one here because everything between 100 and 200 should have the same number under the 100 column. But this is the thing, it's like, what do you put here then? You put a zero. Okay, because there are no, no um, groups of 10 on 101. It is basically 100 plus 1. So 100 plus 1 will be 101. You add it to the units, right? So, so here it will be like 101, 102, and so on and so forth. You know, after, after 9, when you get to anything after 9, let's say... Um, 155, it's a good number. Um, we are going to take a look here at some numbers. For instance, I'm going to put 101 up here, little, and 135. So I have one 100, and then I have three on my 10 house, and I have five. Same thing with 155. I have one, I have five groups of 10 and five units okay so and that that's going to happen throughout the whole thing when you get down here and you are 199 this one here becomes 200 and then you go on and it's it just keeps going on and on now what is what is a thousand going to look like in the end so this is what 1000 looks like it is 10 groups of 100. So if I were to write 1000 on my little table here, I would have 0, 0, 0, even though it is 10 groups of 100, because you can never write two digits on the columns, right? You always write the very last digit and then you move the next one forward. Okay, that's the same with counting to 100. All right, so that's um, that's how you count to 1000. It's um, a kind of a quick little video and we're going to be looking at this better in class. But I just wanted you guys to, you know, have a little basis of how you're going to be counting and how you're going to be using this, okay? So I'll see you guys later.